What's going on, everybody? It is your man, Cleveland Terry. And, uh, well, I didn't plan on doing this video, but some things changed. I was actually going to work on my Denim Prime Go video, but Beatport announced something special, and we got to talk about it. Let's go right now. Please pardon the, uh, the background stuff, the mess, but uh, I've actually been working on the Zen and Prime Go video, so I had to shift some things around and make it happen. Hopefully it's not too obvious, but we're gonna ignore that and we're gonna focus on the most important part, which is that the BeatSource streaming service is now officially in Rekordbox 6. Now, Rekordbox 6 is the key word. BeatSource will not work in Rekordbox 5. The reason why it's important because you know if you use Rekordbox, there aren't a lot of quality streaming services out there. I mean, you have your SoundCloud, you got your Beatport, but Beatport is more for the EDM guys, uh, remix guys, things like that. And SoundCloud is just hot garbage. We all know this. So I have had a big issue with this, knowing that when I use Serato, I can just turn on Tidal. And Tidal gives me everything I need from a streaming standpoint. So. This was very much needed in Rekordbox. Now, as a lot of you know, BeatSource is an offshoot of the DJ City brand. Beatport bought DJ City and has absorbed them into the company. So BeatSource is the first, I guess, technically hybrid work thing that they have going on here. What BeatSource is doing is trying to focus on providing the DJ with quality streaming music. More importantly, making sure that the DJ has all the things at our disposal that we need. So let's take a look at the actual software real quick before we go into the browser. So let's head on over there. By the way, this is all live. I'm using Ecamm Live to make this happen. Did you notice by the little Ecamm Live demo on there? So pardon the, uh, the dust as I work through it. Okay, so let's take a look at the streaming service here. Now, just like all your other streaming services, your SoundCloud, your Beatports, they're all located in the collection hierarchy under their own tabs. So when you open it up, you have your standard options if you're using any streaming service. You have your search tracks, you have your top tracks, your BeatSource playlist, and your My Playlist. So we're gonna talk about these real quick. First, you have your top tracks, and your top tracks are more like what Beat source slash Beatport considers to be the most popular downloaded music. And that is strong, but that's not where the strength lies in Beat Source. The place you want to take a look at is the Beat Source playlist. So as we go into dance, you can see here we have Dance Essentials, uh, Ultra Music Festival, 100% Calvin Harris, Dance Hits, 2015. Now these are very specific playlists. Beat Source is taking a different role in the way music is curated. They actually have people that are physically creating these playlists. And I show you that because if you move over to hip hop, you can see under hip hop, you have things like T-Pain versus Little John and Travis Scott and Future and all of these versus uh, playlists that have been popping up via Swiss Beats and Timberland. So they're trying to keep this updated as much as possible. So in the event that something like a Teddy Riley and a baby face pops up, well, when you open up your beat source, you already have a folder for it. I mean, that's that's game changing right there. Beat source is curated by DJs for DJs. There's a lot to be said about that. So that is fantastic. You got your golden era hits, you got your Bay Area slaps, your hyphy, you got all that stuff all built into here. Now, there's a couple of things you should know right off the bat when you are using this service. For the moment, they do have both explicit and clean records. The issue is they're not being separated out right now. So there's no E or explicit tag in the song right now that'll let you know it's the dirty version or it's the clean version. They're working on that. They know that's an issue, but they are trying to get that in there. It's just gonna take a little time to update all those tags. So we're clear about that. Okay, so one other thing that's really cool and definitely designed for DJs is if you move over to your hip hop section and you move over to DJ tools, you can see right here that there is a fantastic area just for DJs. Beat source, scratch sentences, horns, sirens, lasers, drum sample tools. A lot of these things you might already have, but for some people, especially the new people, 
this is gonna be a great, great tool. All right, let's move over to the viral essentials. Now, again, as a DJ, sometimes you're not up with the most current music, and this is an easy way to kind of check to see what's in there. Bored in the house, Savage, all these things that you find on TikTok, all of them are in here. So this, for people that aren't in the know, is gonna be a lifesaver for a lot of people. Now, again, one of the things that is something that they do need to work on, especially since they are viral, is they're gonna to need to have clean versions of these songs. Let's take a look at the search function here. Now the search function, just like anything else, when you search in BeatSource, it's going to search just in BeatSource. So there's a different search for Rekordbox than there is for your streaming services. And just like BeatSource, Beatport, SoundCloud, all of these are independent searches. So if you search in one, it's not gonna search in all of them, just in the one you're in. All right, so let's take a look and try to find some people. Let's look for maybe Buster Rhymes and let's see what pops up here. Now, I do need to mention while it's searching, uh, with all streaming services and the deals that they negotiate, there are going to be some songs that don't appear in the streaming services. So sometimes you'll be looking for something and it won't pop up and you won't know why. Well, that's because for whatever reason, that song is not on the approved list. Maybe, for instance, like with the Busta, he jumped multiple labels and maybe one of those labels is not in their streaming platform, so it's not gonna be accessible. So just keep that in mind that it's not a 100% any song you've ever wanted going to be listed. They're negotiating with more labels, more companies out there to make that happen, but there are possibilities that there are gonna be songs that you're not going to see. Times Galore is right here. And just like your normal music, you can set up your normal cue points, you can establish those, you can relabel them however you want. The cool thing about the way they do it in Rekordbox is you can put these in any playlist and they will remain in that playlist. So you don't have to worry about just keeping it in like your beat source playlist. You can put them anywhere you want and they will stay assuming that you have internet. If you don't have internet, there are different price point options here. So let's take a look at the pricing. So under BeatSource link, as you drop down, because I know that's the most important part, people aren't gonna ask about anything else, they wanna know how much it costs. So in order to get just the ability to stream the music, to create your own custom playlists and uh, audio streaming at 128 AAC, it's gonna cost you $9.99 a month. Now compare it to many of the other ones, that's the standard price. $9.99 is the standard price for SoundCloud and for Tidal. If you move up to $19.99, you then get a 256 AAC, plus you get an offline locker of up to 50 tracks, just like BeatSource. So these are tracks that will be downloaded to your folder. They will be available in the event that you have internet or don't have internet, they will always be on your computer. Then you move up to the top price, which is $29.95, and that gives you all of the things, but now your beat locker goes up to 100 versus 50. So I think these price points are good. One of my biggest issues before was the pricing was just astronomical. And uh, BeatSource Link has done a lot to get those prices down to these more affordable levels and more competitive levels is really the most important part. And right now it's record box only, but as you can see here, it does say more partners coming soon. So let's go ahead and try this for free. We're already a member, so we're just gonna sign in. By the way, your Beatport login works for your BeatSource, so just keep that in mind. BeatSource has a retail component. You can buy any of this music that's available to you, but this is something that's actually kind of cool. A lot of the songs that are listed here, if you travel down, you can see here, $1.29, like your typical, iTunes, things like that. They're all available to you here. But here's the cool thing about this. If you see a song on here that you want, all you have to do is move over to this little arrow, this little drop down, and you can add to your cart, add to a hold bin, but you can also add to a playlist and create a playlist. Now, this is where the magic happens because you can click on add to a playlist and it brings up your beat source link playlist and then you can add to that. So I wanna add, I wanna add it to my dancer track folder right here. So under my playlist, I've already created two different folders. I've created a radio ready folder and a dancer tracks folder. 
okay? The Dance Tracks folder that I currently have, I have one song in here, uh, Cool Off by Missy Elliott. If I move over to my dance track, you can see I have one track. That's the one. Now, if I add to this folder, add to that folder, and I move back over to Record Box, and then I refresh it, Now it's in my folder ready to be played. Now remember, the online browser and the streaming media, they're all connected together. So you can do these same searches from within Rekordbox. But what I think is really cool is you can kind of create your playlist without even having to be in Rekordbox just by going through the normal browser. So I can go over here, hit search, look for somebody I want, Kanye West. And there's Kanye. And now I have his top 10, which at least Beat Source considers his top 10. And I would say pretty close. You got your Gold Digger, which is the explicit version, and your Gold Digger, which is the clean version. And we can just add this. Okay, so we just found one. So this one, not available for streaming. Interesting. So the dirty version is available, but the clean version is not. My guess is that's an oversight and it's something that I'll let them know about because chances are they both should have been available for streaming. Okay, but we can definitely create a playlist if we want or add a playlist. So let's say we want to create a playlist and I can go in here and call this uh, Hip Hop Favorites. Okay. And then I can just start adding in like my favorite Kanye stuff. Uh, so Made in America, not available. Looks like, uh, I'm assuming it's probably Jay-Z. Oh no, there's one right here. So the edited version is available. So let's add that also. There are certain songs that do pop up with a can't stream, they know about that. I'm gonna ask them about why some versions of the songs are not available and others aren't. But um, I think it's just, it's still in beta. So there's some things that they're gonna be cleaning out as they go. Back up to the normal beta here. What's cool about this is they have things broken out. Rap royalty, Afro beats. Now remember the um, file quality is dependent on which beat source tier you have. 128 AAC, which is Apple Music's uh, version, 128 is equivalent to literally like 168, 192 on just a standard MP3. So it's really, really good quality. 256 is gonna be amazing. And price-wise, 1999 to 999, but at least with the 1999 one, you get the offline locker. So they are giving you some value added to it. Now, once you have your playlist set up, and this is all without going into Rekordbox yet. Once you have your playlist set up, I can go into here, I can go here, and then I can edit my playlist, and then I can readjust the songs. I can put them in the order that I want them to be in. All right, so my Radio Ready currently, Say So is first, Roses, Level of Concern. I'm gonna move Say So to number 10, that way you can see that it does work properly. It's currently three because we've been moving these around. But I'm gonna move this to 10, like so. So this one, we're gonna hit save, and we are going to move back to record box. Now let's refresh this. And let's go back in. Radio ready. And number 10, Say So by Doja Cat. So you can do a lot of adjustments without going into record box and i really like that about the service uh makes it really easy especially for djs to kind of establish their lines now one of the things that they're coming out with later which is going to be super super cool is along with their curated playlist they're also going to be adding in intro and outro versions of their tracks which is something that i've been asking for on every single streaming platform out there and i'm so glad they're doing this 
That's really important for a lot of DJs. Some people don't care and they're like, well, just make your own and blah, blah, blah. But when you're streaming something, you don't have time to make your own. The fact that they're gonna put those in, especially for the top music or maybe the classics, because those are never going to change. Those are always going to be the classics. Uh, that's fantastic. Now, for a lot of people, they use uh, DJ City as their download service. And I asked the question, because I know you guys have the same question is, well, what happens with DJ City? Are you still gonna keep that? Is it gonna be absorbed into BeatSource? And the reality is it will be absorbed into BeatSource, but that membership will still be available. It's not gonna go away. It's not gonna be absorbed and you only have the option to either buy the music or have streaming. You're still gonna have that platform. In a perfect world, I'd like to see a higher price point and get the DJ City and the BeatSource built in. And then we just pay one monthly fee. In a perfect world, that would happen. I just need you to understand the level of musical selection you're going to have by using BeatSource. Scroll down, you have throwback instrumentals, DJ tools, throwback, throwback, throwback acapellas. This is the kind of stuff that DJs are asking for. The fact that it's here, I'm gonna be using this all the time. That's fantastic. I, I can't ask for anything else. Oh, one more thing, by the way, didn't mention this. You can add individual songs to the library, but you can also add the entire playlist to the library. So you have add to the playlist or save to library. If I just save this, it's going to show up as throwback instrumentals in my record box. A plus, A plus. They really did think about the DJ. This The DJ is 100% the focal point of this service. And I like Tidal. Honestly, I really do like Tidal, but but here's the thing, Tidal is not designed for DJs. Now it does give you a lot of music. Pretty much everything that I've ever searched for has shown up in Tidal. But knowing that BeatSource is gonna have intros and outros, knowing that BeatSource is curating for DJs, knowing that BeatSource has DJs in mind when they're working, creating lists that the DJ can use on a daily basis at a moment's notice without having to do too much searching, uh, it's going to be a legitimate game changer. Once they get the explicit versus clean tags in, uh, I see no reason to use any other platform out there. This is going to be the one, in all honesty, because it's made for DJs by DJs. It's like the FUBU of streaming music. <laughs> Keep in mind that it is currently in beta, so you have to use the newest Record Box 6 beta version in order to even play with it and test it. But you wanna get your tests on right now, head over to BeatSource and then head over to Record Box, download the beta version, which is not gonna be on their main site. You have to go to the forums to download the beta version. And then you can test this to, to your blue in the face. If you have Record Box 6, uh, change that name so that it doesn't copy over your legitimate record box six and you can do all the testing that you want. All right, guys, that's it for me. If you found what I said here useful, hit that like button. If you found what I said here really useful, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you follow me on the Instagram and Twitters. If you have any questions about this, leave them in the uh, comments below. And guys, always a pleasure. If I don't talk to you later, we'll talk soon. Peace. Man, it's hard doing this live with the Ecamm software and changing videos and all this stuff. The things I do for you guys, I'm trying to help you. You guys should be really happy.